hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to make this beautiful cape goddess dress gown <laughs> for our princesses today i hope you enjoyed this, this video please watch to the end and we don't want to miss every any details of this dress and i'll see you at the end of the video Come once again if this is the first time of stopping by i say thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on my video please sus consider subscribing to my channel join the growing family to my old subscribers i say thank you very much for all your support support shout out to blessing for all your comments it has been encouraging and an encouraging one to me thank you very much for supporting my channel so as you can see i folded my fabric into two to um for i'm going to cut the front and the back of the and the back bodies together so that's why i folded my fabric into two and when you look at it you see that at the end there's a zipper allowance there so i went ahead to mark my my measurement my half length which is 11 inches plus one inch allowance for the joining so i'm going to go ahead to take my measurement and i'm going to start from the center front not from the zipper allowance from the center front i'm going to go in by 2.5 inches and then go down by three inches that's 2.5 inches width and two three inches length and i'm going to give it a curve to make a to to give it a curve for a round neck then from that center front i'm going to take my shoulder measurement which is 12 inches divided by two six inches and that same six inches is what i'm going to go down with for my armhole depth then the next thing i'm going to do is to connect the line then after that i'm going to go down um, by one inch for my shoulder slope and then slant it to meet my neckline then insert my bust measurement which is 25 inches divided by four then also plus one and a half inch inches allowance or two two inches then also connected my um added my waist measurement then connected my arm hole and that's it for the bodies i hope you are enjoying or enjoying this video so i'm going to go ahead and mark my back neckline before cutting out the whole thing i don't want to make a mistake of cutting the front and the back ne neckline the same because it's not the same in this style so i marked that one i'm going to cut it first before cutting the, the front one I hope you are enjoying enjoying this video please give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel share my videos invite your family and friends share my videos please support me in any way that you can thank you very much and i'm going to go ahead to cut out the front part now the front and neckline now after cutting the um every other thing so the next thing i did is to cut out the down part of the the gather part of it and um, which is i measured my waist and i um, um i doubled my waist and it's going to be two one is going to be shorter than one i think the one is shorter than one by six inches or seven inches whichever it is and whatever you are cutting for the length remember to add two inches allowance for the joining of the damp part so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold the damp part of it with the two inches 1.5 inches because i'm going to use half to join it to the upper body to the bodies so i'm going to fold it with 1.5 inches and this is it after folding it so the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the plain fabric you can see that you saw at the on the star so i'm going to fold it in like this on the fabric and then sew the two sides sides down So this is it after attaching, after um, stitching them together and um, stitching it down, the plain fabric down. So the next thing I'm going to do is to gather the upper part of it to be the exact measurement for my waist plus two inches allowance for the zipper. Then onto the cape and um, what I did here is to mark out my neckline instead of marking it with my tape. I decided to just mark it, place the fabric on the plain and on the plain fabric and mark it out then i also from the armhole i added about two inches allowance to that side then the cape is not supposed to get to the length to the waistline i'm going to reduce it after this and also while cutting i'm not supposed to cut at the um sloped of slope of the of the um 
shoulder i'm supposed to go straight at the shoulder you're going you are going to see it at the at the at the back part back part so instead of reducing from the neckline from the waistline i, I just pulled my fabric down and then um recut the shoulder to get as the exactly what i want so i'm saying let me put it out there so that you don't make the same mistake so you look at what i just did you're going to it's going to be straight i'm not going to cover it cut it to that shoulder slope i hope you understand what i'm trying to say though So the next thing I'm going to do is to um, fold in the rough edges of the two of the um, plain fabric, this side, this side, and the, the three three sides. Not in um, the shoulder is not included. I'm going to do the same thing also for the back one. Then the next thing I did is to attach this Ankara fabric we are using to make this tie on this plain fabric on this plain cape, just like I did at the gather side. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to join the two shoulders together of the body. The two shoulders, um, I arrange them to but to together well and then attach it together. Then after that, I'm going to also join the two capes, the shoulders together, the front and the back shoulders together. So the excess at the shoulder side, I'm going to cut that off and before attaching it to the bodies. So for the bodies, I'm going to place the cape right side facing the wrong side of the bodies and then making sure that my two, two shoulders are matching together. I'm going to go ahead and secure this with my pin, then secure the other side with my pin and then sew it round from the neck back from the back neckline to the front to the other back neckline. Then remember that my cape or we are going to see it later on that my cape is not um didn't get to the zipper allowance then after sewing it i notched the the round neck and then turn it to the front and top stitch it because the plain fabric fabric is thicker than the ankara fabric so i top stitch it so that it doesn't start pulling it then use my fabric bias to turn the armhole and then stitch the two sides with my measurements i also did this to the other side the, then attach my the gathers um so the uh, attach the stitch the gathers together sorry stitch the gathers together and then attach it to the bodies and then, then attach my zip and that's all for this tie i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and thank you for all your support you've been giving me so far i really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to share my videos share my videos